The Nubian Empire, also known as the Kingdom of Kush, ruled along the Nile in what is now Sudan for nearly 3,000 years. From around 2500 BCE to 300 CE, the Nubians built powerful cities, commanded vast trade routes, and developed a culture rich in innovation. But one of their most surprising achievements came from something simple and familiar, beer. More than 1,500 years before modern medicine discovered antibiotics, the Nubians were already using them. Researchers studying skeletons from around 350 CE found high levels of tetracycline in nearly every bone. Tetracycline is the same antibiotic doctors prescribe today. The source of this medicine was Nubian beer. Nubian brewers fermented grain in clay jars. Inside those jars, a natural soil bacteria called Streptomyces grew easily. Streptomyces produces tetracycline. As the grain fermented, the antibiotic blended into the beer, turning it into a medicinal drink. Adults, children, and elders all consumed it, showing that the Nubians understood its healing power and used it intentionally to treat infections, fevers, and stomach illnesses. This discovery proves that the people of Kush practiced biochemical medicine long before modern science existed. Their knowledge of fermentation and food chemistry was advanced for their time and deeply woven into daily life. The Nubian Empire was impressive in many other ways as well. They built more pyramids than Egypt. They developed the Meroitic script, one of the oldest written languages in Africa. Their iron-working centers at Moreau were so advanced that historians call the city the Birmingham of Africa. They also mastered desert agriculture, long-distance trade, and created powerful queens known as Kandakes, who led armies and shaped diplomacy. It is a reminder that African civilizations have been at the forefront of human achievement for thousands of years.